So tell me a little bit about Isaac Briggs. We saw you're a CIA operative and, and you've been rescued by Sam, but, yeah. but dig a little deeper if you could. Initially what happens is I get uh, picked to be on the team by uh, Anna Rim's daughter, and uh, she brings me on to Fourth Echelon. And uh, I meet Sam literally uh, going onto the plane, probably didn't, and we go and we're going on our mission. Basically we're just kind of thrown together at the last second, all of us. And the dynamics in the beginning with me and Sam Fisher is that, you know, he he doesn't really want anybody else. He's the guy. I can do all this. I don't really need anybody else, especially not this hotshot rookie coming in thinking he can take over my shine or even help me do anything. I don't need it. You're going in alone. It's nothing personal. We had some bumps in Benghazi. I want you on the chopper for extraction. We know that there's there's a, a compelling relationship between Sam and, and Grimm. Um, you talk about how you, you kind of get thrown in and you're probably a bit of a middleman in that sense. Uh, talk about your relationship with, with Grimm. She's probably the po person that I'm closest to on, on everything, on the missions, um, on the team. And the reason being is because one, she picked me. Two, she stands up for me, being Sam's partner, being able to help him. And three, uh, we were very like-minded. The way we approach missions were very by the book, textbook, when Sam is very off the book, not routine, and everything is kind of on the fly. And that's not who uh, Briggs is, which is the reason why we combat a lot. And if you notice, this is the reason why Anna and Sam combat a lot. All due respect, why don't we just leave the interrogation to the CIA? You can forget the company man bullshit, Briggs. You're on our team now. Understood. Talk to me about some of the qualities of Briggs that, that the gamers are going to appeal to. I think the, the main thing they'll like about it is that it gives them another person to play with other than always seeing things through the eyes of Sam. And it's like you, you kind of know the level that you'll expect with Sam on how he approaches things. But it's like this new factor is that, okay, he has a sidekick now? And okay, well, what, what kind of person is he? And what does he bring to the table? And what kind of skills does he have? What do you think about this, the, the whole performance capture studio and, and being in, in the suit? And there's a lot of mime work, obviously, and you know, playing pretend, so yeah. to speak. How, yeah. how, how does that work for you as an actor? Uh, well, at first, I was a little bit overwhelmed. It's my first time ever doing a video game. So I was like, this is amazing. And I'm a big, big video gamer myself. So I knew the basic idea of the whole motion capture and how that works, but I was, I've never seen it applied. You know what I mean? It's like, you know something, but when you get behind the doors and you actually see it and you're just like, this is absolutely freaking cool. So it's like, I was just blown away. This is like one of the rawest forms of acting. You're stripped down to your bare and bones and the technology's there. But at the end of the day, you're one-on-one -on -one with the actor, that's it, so. Tell me a little bit, if, if you could, your opinion on the scope of the story, the, you know, the realism that's involved with you know, this terror plot, the yeah. blacklist. Yeah. Take, take us through that. It's, it's, it's almost kind of creepy, because it's like, uh, the whole blacklist, it's like all the things that'll basically take down the entire American infrastructure, you know, the entire American economy. It almost kind of makes you think like, whoa, you know, could somebody possibly even make this happen? It makes your mind go there, because it's like, if that was to really happen, how would Americans react? It's pretty real people. Sam Fisher and a real Isaac Briggs. <laughs> exactly. Uh, they're probably out there somewhere. <laughs> Hope so. You burned every intelligence contact you've got. I still love you. What's that supposed to mean?